This week's review was nominated by Pixel Empire editor Tom Clare. Check out his YouTube channel, including a look at an aftermarket Aliens game on the ZX Spectrum. While visual novels proved immensely popular in Japan from as early as the 1980s, their appeal in Western markets proved limited outside of dedicated fan translation communities. That is, until the Nintendo DS and several successful titles made bringing these obscurities to the West a more appetising prospect. With Ace Attorney leading the charge, the latter half of the 2000s would see a ton of visual novels make the trip outside of their homeland, with perhaps the sleeper hit of the bunch being 9 hours, 9 persons, 9 doors. A fascinating, absorbing adventure, rife with tension and unease, Chunsoft's meticulous adventure proves hard to forget, even if a few issues do chip at the end result, though nowhere near enough to stop a recommendation. College student Jinpei wakes up inside a cabin, with only a bracelet beaming a number and hazy recollections of what led him here. After escaping an immediately intense situation, he soon meets up with several other individuals, all of whom bear the same ills, being kidnapped and trapped on this ship with bracelets attached to their arms. Soon, it is revealed that this is part of a dangerous game set up by the mysterious Zero, where doors must be unlocked using the aforementioned bracelets and fiendish tests must be solved in order to escape before a 9 hour deadline sees the boat flooded. However, it soon becomes clear this game has a tendency to descend into murder, with a tense moment exploding into a gruesome sequence that perfectly highlights the consequence of breaking rules. Naturally, this scenario, known as the Nonary Game, makes for some fantastic tension. Its clear set of rules adds to this, as bracelets can only be removed for escape or death, and anyone who scans must also enter the doorway that's been unlocked. Yet, bracelets don't need the user to scan, and though the group shows many attempts to work cohesively, it also unnerves you to realise individuals may find more gain through selfish actions. This meticulous level of detail makes seeing the quirks of this game play out very enjoyable. It helps that the cast of characters prove genuine, thought out and likeable, only heightening the impact of plot swerves and shocking moments. While characters are naturally guarded, due to the nature of the situation, uncovering small snippets of their past and piecing together the links proves immensely gratifying. In particular, uncovering the memories of Seven, a sort of gentle giant who mixes cocky wit with tender emotion, is satisfying. Nine 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 often reads like a good book, with plentiful text dialogue that utilises both screens very well. On top, character dialogue is shown along with sprite animation, while the bottom screen is reserved for narration. Some of this bottom text, particularly the repulsive level of detail with gory moments, is excellent. Writing is generally very strong, seeing each character talk with a distinctive tone clear attitude and unique quirks conveyed through both spoken words and narration. It does admittedly lack conciseness at points, with some conversations proving incredibly lengthy about seemingly pointless sidebars, though a few tie back to the mystery, at least. The issue comes from where these monologues appear, proving counterproductive to the scenario. One such speech happens while three characters are locked in a freezer. 
with the stress of escaping a cold death colliding with a lengthy discussion over a type of dry ice. Considering how key an element time, or the lack of it, is, these longer discussions can prove incongruous to the atmosphere. That being said, 999 does have one other gameplay element, escape rooms. As you explore the ship, rooms containing key items will require you to explore to uncover, with most containing several puzzles to crack in order to find said key. Clear rendered backdrops make discerning interactive parts of the rooms easy, and with so much combing to be done to find items, this is a positive. The actual puzzles contained in these rooms can be incredibly inventive, relying on mathematical equations, combining items, and other logic puzzles. Cracking these rooms can be immensely satisfying, yet those who come unstuck will also get the aid of plentiful clues and tips with repeated interactions. The diverse range of rooms, from the opening cabin to a casino and laboratory, often prove integral to the mindset behind the puzzles, such as using playing cards as keys to unlock parts of the casino. Escape sections prove excellent bridges between key story moments. Chunsoft definitely made the most of the Nintendo DS's limited power, with excellent backgrounds and sprites still capable of drawing you into the story and environment. From classier staircases to coldly dark corridors, each feels detailed and clear. Sprite work too boasts intricacies, with little animation ticks and clear facial movement adding to each character's persona. The audio proves top-notch, mostly due to an outstanding soundtrack that balances melancholy, terror, and ambience to key story moments. Chill and Rigor, a dark track which often plays during more harrowing moments, is particularly unnerving. Sound effects are also pivotal to the dense atmosphere, whether it's the grinding creak of the boat or even the ratcheting tension of the wristwatch bleeping before verification, it's effective at instilling more dread. Like any good visual novel, 999 offers a handful of branching paths which lead to one of a handful of endings. Most of these not only result in despair, but more questions than answers. This does, unfortunately, lead to one of the more frustrating parts of this game. In order to seek out all the endings, you'll have to repeat the game from the start several times. Handily, you can fast through seen dialogue, and unseen text will resume at normal speed. But on the flip side, you have to repeat certain escape rooms several times to reach new branches, including the cabin escape every time you restart. This could have been alleviated with some form of chapter select. A true ending after viewing the other endings and with some seemingly innocuous dialogue choices, does await those who power through. But this end does feel a touch flat after how strong the mystery thread has built throughout, possibly leaving some unsatisfied. But make no mistake, these issues don't sink 9 hours, 9 persons, 9 doors. A gratifying mix of excellent puzzling and memorable storytelling, this mystery hooks you in and refuses to let go, even through incredibly dark moments. An adept scenario, 
enjoyable characters and unravelling mystery waits for those with the patience to wade through plentiful text and a couple of frustrations. If you feel you can overlook these issues, 999 proves an easy recommendation for DS owners.